harnesses and rope and mountaineering boots and all that stuff. Good morning, everyone. It is our second zero day and um, got up and sat by the campfire a little bit. It was really chilly this morning. And honestly, being hungover, I was just like shivering and just did not feel great. Feeling better now, I ate and uh, chugged a bunch of water. So I'm starting to feel alive again. I got some of my stuff together and we are back at Grumpy Bear's. Gonna go over to that little shipping container, um, the, the resupply so that I can get food for the next few days because of the whole bear can situation. I guess I'm gonna have to end up renting one. It just is what it is. I still haven't figured out where it's at. Hopefully I get some answers, but there's no way that I'm gonna have it today. So I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and take the loss. All right guys, I am at my tent going through all my stuff, trying to get some of these chores done. I rented a bear can from Triple Crown Outfitters up there at Grumpy Bears. So I will carry this through the Sierras and then just ship it back to them. Um, it's like 40 bucks for the rental and then a $40 deposit. So I'll get that deposit back when I ship it. After I'm done with it, I did talk to the lady at Grumpy Bears who talked to the postmaster, I guess, and that, like no one knows where my shit is. So chaps um someone chap knows is a postmaster and they're just gonna handle it for me i guess and just ship it back to my house so that's fine it is what it is at least i'll get my stuff back eventually and this all worked out so that's fine just a headache but we're all good for the rest of the day just gonna be a lot of chores i have to charge all my stuff i gotta do a lot of editing i didn't do any yesterday and just be more responsible today. <laughs> I have officially taken on the trail name Hollywood. I introduced myself as Hollywood for the first time today. It feels right. It's a good change, and uh, it is what it is. I'll always be. Uh, I'll always be Hammer Hikes. I'll always uh, answer to Hammer as well. But uh, from here on out. Or Hollywood on the PCT. All right, everyone, I'm going to say good night. I'm sorry I didn't video as much today because it was just sort of the same thing as yesterday. Not a whole lot going on. Just kind of hung around the general store and, you know. Talk to other hikers and eat food, drink beer. That's about it. It's really late. We're going to hike out tomorrow morning. And I'll catch up with you then. Tonight I want to say I love you to Miles Kaufman. The son of my best friend. I don't know what I would do without you and Lauren. You guys mean everything to me. And you guys will be amazing parents. And I'm so happy for you. Good night, everyone. See you in the morning. Bye bye, Kennedy Meadows. Good morning, guys. We're just getting ready to get out of here. We woke up decently early again and had a breakfast sandwich, got all our shit together, and now we're on the move kind of sad leaving to be honest it's definitely my favorite stop so far but it's a vortex can't stay here forever I think the plan is to do like 15 miles there's this bridge where like a ton of swallows live under the bridge it's kind of neat looking I think a lot of people like to camp there their first day out of Kennedy Meadows we got the bear can situations going on show you that whole setup a little later that's just gonna suck for the next few weeks carrying all this crap there was a pair of z-packs vertus rain pants 
that was going in the hiker box, brand new, fit me perfectly. I'm like, I can't freaking leave them. Maybe they'll be my glissading pants. Don't want that scabbed up ass again. But I also adopted a pair of leggings that are like cosmic. They have stars and galaxy and shit on them. They're kind of funny. Land of many uses. I don't know where this trail is, but. You know, I think this is the first time it's been kind of sad leaving town. We met a bunch of people that I really enjoyed and had a lot of fun with. And, you know, a lot of times you leave these towns or these hostels and you don't know for sure if you're ever going to see these people again. It's kind of crazy. I didn't have that. I didn't have quite that same experience on the AT because I really hiked with the same people the whole fucking time. Like the friends that I had from night one on the AT were the same people that I was pretty much summiting with. I mean, there are definitely some people that, you know, it was the last time I saw them and didn't, you know, realize that it was gonna be. Um, but I don't know, I don't remember having this same kind of sad feeling coming out of a town day. We saw Guardian. Kennedy Meadows, hung out with him. If you remember Geezer, the guy that I hiked with for a while at the beginning, uh, I know he's long ahead. Uh, some other people told me that, so not sure that I'll get the chance to see him again, but Geezer, if you ever see this, it was fun hiking those first couple miles around you. I've also been on the lookout for Ollie, who's still behind, apparently a couple days, but I don't know, hoping that maybe get to run into him again too. He was a lot of fun. Guess it's official. All right, a lot has happened in the last two hours. We got about a mile and a half in and uh, Fireball was a little upset. Um, feeling like she made the wrong decision about not going to this wedding. So we had like a emotional pit stop back there we're all just kind of i don't know not feeling great about things today i know very well that these trails are an emotional roller coaster but the yeah today is just like a somber day i think that's how chap put it somber i think there's also a lot of anxiety about the Sierras and the things that are coming up and all these different things that we have to think about for the next few hundred miles. So anyway, we ended up taking this emotional pit stop at this road crossing back there. At the time, Fireball was pretty convinced that she was going back to the general store to try to get a flight out of here. Um, so there was a Subaru with a couple guys in it and they stopped and asked us if we needed anything and their fireball was going to take a ride with them. She ended up changing her mind. The guys drove off so we just all sat there at the road and as we're sitting there some of the other hikers coming up behind us and uh, there were some guys camped down by the river you know a few hundred yards from where we were sitting and when they noticed us all there they brought us they brought us up beers so we sat there and we all had a beer with these guys who were camping i don't know i feel like i'm rambling a little bit now but long story short is we just took a long break and we're very behind schedule it's what it's after one o'clock we haven't taken lunch yet we're all moving slow not in the best moods and it's just going to be one of those days that it is what it is Made it another quarter mile. <laughs> Decided it was probably lunch time. And check this out. Never thought I'd be carrying a camp chair. <laughs> the water's right there. Fireball went swimming. I ain't getting in that cold fucking water. Okay. If not. <laughs> Boy, I'm liking that quick draw filter so far. The flow on it is great. 
see how it goes over the next couple weeks, how much it slows down. We're just leaving the lunch spot. I'll tell you what, man, me and Chap are dragging today. We're, it's so weird, like, we're having the same, like, symptoms, like, chest kind of feel, like, fluttery and kind of feel weak and I don't know. It's really strange because I felt like this since this morning. I thought I had too much coffee. Sometimes when I have too much coffee, I get real jittery and similar feeling to this, but I mean, that's definitely not what's going on. I think it's really weird that him and I are having the exact same symptoms. We're not really high enough that elevation would be a concern. And, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm getting a cold or sick in that way. It's just like, I don't know, like in my chest. It's weird. Fireball is dead set on going to this Swallow Bridge tonight. It's after 2 o'clock. That bridge is 10 miles away. I don't know if we'll make it there or not, but I guess we'll give it our best. Despite feeling like shit and all the other aspects of today, it's been beautiful. Nice hot day. I think we're going to be hitting snow and some of the colder spots uh, tomorrow already. Uh, once we get up to higher elevations. So, we may not be sweating a whole lot. Well, we'll be sweating, but may not be dying like we have been so far. There's a campsite less than a half mile up ahead. I think we may just stay there. I'm feeling a little better. I think Chop still kind of feels like shit. There's no way we're making it to this bridge today. And uh, I think this is supposed to be a pretty nice campsite. The next one is up over 8,000 feet. And I'm not sure that we want to sleep that high today if we're not feeling well. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Cowboy camping. This is home for the night. Nice spot. Water's right down there. Clear view of the sky, pretty much. I got my new leggings on. There's this guy that we met who was rocking these in, like around the aqueduct. And he looked really goofy in them. And then Fireball, funny enough, ended up with them. And now I guess I've taken them over, but <laughs> I dig them. I think we got some Spanish rice for tonight. Haven't had that in a while. Starting to feel a little better. Are you feeling better, chap? I'm feeling a little better. Yeah. I think we were just, I think I was just very dehydrated maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we'll check in shortly. There's a mess. Dicking around with this bear can. Tried to stuff all my food in there and I barely fit this four days, well, less than four days worth of food in there. I didn't like try to stack it properly or anything. I just threw everything in there. So I'll probably have to just start packing it better. But if I want to carry this damn thing, I'm going to use it, even if we're not really required to right now. All right, everyone. I know you can't see me very good, so I'll just show you my view here. Sun's just about to set. We only did like 7.3 today. So we'll just take the Nero and try to do better tomorrow <laughs> it kind of felt like shit for a lot of the day and there's a lot of things going on so just had a slower day and it is what it is tomorrow we're going to be going up above 10,000 feet in elevation um which is crazy that'll be it should be the highest i've ever been tomorrow uh, excited about that but also a little anxious temperature is pretty good right now i hope it doesn't drop terribly tonight and I can get some decent sleep. There were a whole mess of flies all over everything, but they seem to have calmed down since the sun set. Uh, other than that, I got nothing else for you today. I know this is gonna be the most boring episode ever, but I'm only human.
I love you, Coulter Wall. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I will see you in the morning.